uh, yeah, we don't do high expectations. No, I, I have pretty low expectations. Uh, perfect. Awesome. And with that, welcome back, Inebriites. This is Andy, the Inebriar Podcast. We are back again at the Mayflower Brewery um, because we love Jeff Nardone, Pumpkin, Jimmy Sticks, Drew, everyone here. Um, they're great to us. And a former podcast guest, Brian Logan, um, connected me with tonight's guest, uh, Matt Mulligan. How do you like that? I got that name right. Of uh, Hawk Visual. Uh, could be the fourth time on the podcast I've got a name right. So it's, it's visuals. It's, it's a high watermark. Um, yeah. Oh, visuals. See? Yeah. See, I, fuck. At least you told me you're going to mess it up the first time. But I was so yeah. cl- that's, that's you had it was oh, one letter. One letter. Which I'll, I'll cut you some slack. All right. I'll cut I, you some I, slack. It's like. I feel like I have uh, spelling Thursday. issues. It's okay. It's uh, Thursday. How many drinks have you had? Two. This would be three. 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 Yeah. yeah. So I should have. I, I had lunch hours ago. <laughs> um, so I am here today to specifically apologize to you. Um, I invited you on the podcast once before, and I had car trouble. That's right. I was drinking alone all by yes. myself. And uh, my grand plan was to have my car towed and contact Matt and be like, hey, I get a call off tonight. And I was so stressed out, I completely forgot. And I got a text, I think, from Sarah here, or Pumpkin. It was Pumpkin, because that's when I met Pumpkin. Yeah, and she's like, hey, just so you know, uh, your interview's been here like 20 minutes. And I'm like, fuck me, I forgot yeah, I'm, all about it. I'm kind of an early person, so yeah. I showed up. What time was supposed to be? Seven it's o'clock. Probably like so, seven yeah. or something like so that. So I got there at six forty five and you texted me at, at like seven thirty or hey so. man, I'm really sorry. Yeah. Um, yeah. so it's okay. my bad. That's um, quite all right. I'm glad we could do this. Yes. And then yeah. the other night we had the uh Jordan versus Carl arm wrestling competition. <laughs> and so Pumpkin comes up to me, she's like, Hey, where's Matt? I'm like, Who the fuck is Matt? And she's like, That guy you were supposed to interview that you blew off and I'm like, He's here <laughs> Um and so I meant I, I meant to like kind of pull you aside, but it was such a crazy night. It was a night. crazy night. Yeah. That was amazing. Yeah, second time they said right, second annual. It is the second annual. Yeah, um, the first one was kind of on the fly. Like initially it was. Uh, so basically, what happened is Jordan. Uh, for our listeners, it's uh, Jordan and Carl of the Bar Talk Podcast. Check it out. Um, Jordan bet Carl on the final Patriots record. And the uh, bet was whoever lost had a 10 bar at the other guy's bar and donate their tips to charity. That was the initial bet. Right. Carl lost, so he was supposed to 10 bar at Speedwell. So they created an event on Facebook. And, of course, everybody in town is like, I'm going to come and fuck with Carl while he's tending bar. Of course. And they realized quickly that Speedwell wouldn't handle it. So they moved it over to the New World Tavern. And then was like, all these people are going to come and, I mean, pound drinks because they want to mess with Carl and order the most complicated drink they could think of. <laughs> we need some entertainment. So that's when they someone came up with the idea of a, a arm wrestling competition. Which, that's really what it was? Yeah. I thought the arm wrestling thing was like the, No, it was kind of just a, like a side. It was a side thing, and it got to the point How where Carl never ended up behind the bar because it all became about the about, arm wrestling thing. Right, yeah. And it was the most fun because it's the one night that everybody in the industry you know if you make booze or sell booze you were there and it was a lot of fun they did it again this year and again it it was a great time there was even more places that competed um if you wanted to go out and get something to eat in plymouth you were pretty much fucked because everywhere was closed it was closed yeah yeah. it's crazy yeah they had two or three the three guys there were world-class yeah. Arm wrestlers, I think. Yeah. Like, those were yeah. the kind of referees were like. Referees, yeah. I don't know, Team USA or something. Yeah, whatever it was. But. And uh, we saw this obnoxious guy with a camera who kept getting in the way. And we're like, we can't fucking yeah. see. Who is that? And they're like, that's Matt that from Hawk me. Visuals. I know. I saw, you, you got it. I got to write you that got it. I know. I saw, I saw so many pictures and videos, and yeah. you see my light shining. I feel like I was getting in the way, but I No, just actually, said, uh, you weren't. <laughs> and um, you posted the video, which is on Hawk Visuals Facebook. So if anyone's on there, they can check it out. And I thought it was great. Oh, is that, it was just one of those random events in Plymouth that pop up, I feel like, and are awesome. There's so many. Uh, Plymouth's a place to be. So tell us, how, what is Hawk Visuals, and like, how did you end up doing what you're doing? So Hawk Visuals, we are a video production and social media management company, primarily. 
the way that we started, or I started, was a little interesting. So I went to school to be an architect. Okay. I've always wanted to be an architect. I like have, every social media guy does. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> your, your classic story, architect, yeah. now realist, uh, social media guy. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but I went to school for it, got a master's degree in it, and then... In architecture? No yeah. Shit. Okay. Yeah, went to Boston. Went to Boston. My girlfriend is also an architect, so met her, met her there, too. Yeah. And at that time, I had a drone as a hobby. Yeah. It was kind of one of the, you know, that time, it was 2016. Okay. We're going way back, three years. Three know, years, w- yeah. Way, way back. Uh, so they were kind of becoming pretty popular, and I had it as a hobby. And I just kept posting photos and videos on and I, someone, I, someone's like hey can you do that for me is that yeah like that's really what it was yeah, yeah like i have the name hawk visuals because of the idea of the drone being the right. hawk and the visuals is it's just images and videos right yeah, yeah. and uh yeah i had i had one real estate agent contact me and said hey i have a listing do you want to photograph it and i said yeah sure and he's like, how much do you charge? I'm like, uh, uh, 50 bucks. Can I get it back to you? Yeah. Can I, yeah like I, so I, I Googled, how much do you charge for yeah. a drone shoot of real yeah. estate? And it was super cheap. But I think it was after months of doing that, I kept getting more gigs, just yeah. randomly posting stuff. And now it's been uh, nine months, eight yeah. months that I quit my job no shit. as an architect. That's yeah. awesome. I still, I still love it. That's yeah. why a lot of what I do is, is in real estate. So yeah. we'll do real estate photography with drone without drone we'll do video production for them um and also for architects but yeah. i just i still i love it i just I'm not a big fan of the office nine to five thing and that's well, really what it was let, let me ask you this question because yeah. i find this very reflective of my life um you were also an architect and then and i w- yeah. i was and i met my wife and now i'm not married. Oh, really? wow now I'm not married. it's such a parallel story no but just um when i was in high school i wanted to make comic books Somehow I can see that. Wow. Can I say <laughs> fuck you to the guest? <laughs> uh, so, but at the time, and I'm way older than you, so... Oh, come on. Yeah, I guarantee it. At the time, podcasting, social media didn't exist. And like you said, like the drone thing was just kind of getting off the ground. Right. So, yeah, that was, I didn't even mean to do that. Drones oh, I just, the ground. I, just, I just when he, he looked laughed, at you, I'm like, yeah, I didn't like, get it. Like, what are you I'm talking like, what about? What are you laughing at? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shit, that was totally on purpose. <laughs> Great. Uh, thanks. Um, Very, good. Very good. So, like, how? At what point did you be like, "Oh, crap! I can make a living make at, a this, at, the, at this at this thing that because I work in social media now, and like at the time, I I put it on my resume as kind of like. I don't want to say like a joke, but it's kind of like, oh, yeah, that's something I do. You're currently in social media? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I work so what, what in, kind I work of stuff in, do you do? I, I work in marketing for a stainless steel uh, company, and I handle their social media and um, trade shows. Really? Yeah. So you just kind of got I thrown put, into it? Well, all right. So, God, I hope no one I work with listens to this. <laughs> <laughs> so I was working um, retail. Yes. And I fucking hated it. <laughs> and I got to that breaking point where I'm like, I need to make a resume. So I went on to a... Google res- and typed yeah, in how to like make how, a resume. How to make a resume, resume yeah. uh, template. And so I'm going through and I'm filling out the bits. And it's like, this is where you put other. And one of the things was social media expert. And at the time, I'm like, fuck, I do social media for an art. Yeah, sure. And I'm great. an expert. I'm just going to leave that on there. And every interview I got was based on that. So you're like, shit, now I got to talk so, about social well, media. So then I, I, I'm in this interview, and they're like, well, you know, we, we really need work on our social media. And I'm like, great, okay. And they're like, well, how often would you post? I'm like, well, you should be posting every day. And they're like, he posts every day. And it, it's amazing how little people know about it. So kind of like the social ex- media, you mean? Yeah, yeah. So like the expert level isn't like where you would think it would be. No, it really is. Yeah. And um, so when I went in, I was taking over someone who was leaving the company, and she's like, "Oh, I post." What did she say? I post Monday, Wednesday, and Friday first thing in the morning. And I'm like, "You know, no one's seeing that, right?" And she's like, "What are you talking about?" And I'm like, "Never mind. This is gonna be the easiest job I've ever had in my life. <laughs> no more questions." And uh, it got to the point where 
people were going to my boss and they're like, Andy's really dedicated. And they're like, what are you talking about? They're like, he's posting it, you know, hours we're not even open. And my boss came to me like, yeah, you can schedule that shit. Like, yeah. I don't... I do that now. I mean, yeah, you can schedule it, like a whole month in yeah, one day. Like, if you have I can, enough content. Yeah, exactly. I'm yeah. like, I can schedule whenever you want. You just tell me, yeah. and like, you can do that. I'm like, yeah, don't. And it's surprisingly easy. <laughs> yeah, I mean, there's a difference between, oh. and I'm sure you've seen it too. There's your average Joe that can just post it. Yeah, and then there's someone like myself or other companies where it's kind of a strategic way. Of right, how you we figure do out it. what time is is yeah, beneficial. but not even that, but just like what because we we get the content for them and we post it. Yeah, so it's LinkedIn, Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, mm-hmm. whatever they want to do. But yep. every every platform is different. I mean, Instagram is heavy on images and it's only a minute long in, in, video. And like um, and the, the number of hashtags like Instagram, oh, the hash- yeah, the hashtag ha- Instagram is, you can load it up. Yeah, you know. Facebook is almost pointless. Twitter, if you do more than like two or three, it's considered spam. Yeah, I'm not spam. a Twitter, Twitter guy, but uh-huh. yeah, it's just all political stuff. Yeah, 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 but yeah pretty but, much. But yeah, I mean, it's 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 one of those things where if, if you know what you're doing and you dedicate enough time, then you can do a lot more than just post for somebody. All right. So you can get, like, we like to try to drive traffic from Instagram to Facebook to YouTube. To right, to kind of like cross everything right, over. So, right, so I mean, yeah. like, and I always advertise to my clients or even people that, that listen or watch my stuff is if you film a video mm-hmm. that's maybe five minutes long for YouTube, yep. you can chop that up into segments for Instagram. Sure. You yeah. can chop it up further for Facebook. You can make it into a podcast pretty easily. Now with technology, you can just rip the audio out of it. How do you do podcasts? So you can essentially... If listen you just up, have, Fish. This is how we do this. Yeah. <laughs> if, you just, if, if you're filming a video of yourself mm-hmm. and you can just take the audio file from the video. Yeah. And I think, think uh, what's it called? Anchor is one of the biggest platforms now or one of them. Oh, really? You upload it right to there and it yep. goes to uh, iTunes or, or the Apple Podcasts. It goes to like a bunch of different platforms right from okay. that platform. And that's the thing is there's so many and they come out so frequently that it, oh, it's yeah. it's hard to keep track of um and it, it's the way i look at it is you should pick two or three platforms and really yeah. focus on them but you kind of want to always exist on the other ones yeah you know, like ju- if something new pops up is. try to sign up yeah because if it becomes the hot one you want that like good name like yeah. you don't want to be oh we're at an plymouth podcast like you want to just be at an art right um and it's just kind of like using it and, and paying attention the thing that kills me is a number of companies that will create a facebook or twitter or an instagram because they feel they have to and then never use it yeah i mean i would say if, I, if I you have someone like managing it, of course it yeah, is yeah. of course it is but there's everything is free i mean facebook instagram right. unless you're doing ads which that's kind of like the next level of right. marketing, but just do it. I mean, if, if you're not getting anywhere with it, yeah. I mean, yeah, the whole point, if you're not posting, then yeah, you're not going to get anywhere. But, but you at least have to use it. Like, yeah, you got to um, use it and respond to comments. Yeah, just, yeah. You got to be aware of that if you, it's like opening Pandora's box. Once you start it and you yeah. post and then you're ghosting for a month, people are going to be like, where the fuck are you? Like, you're not or, doing or anything. Or people are going to go on there and be like, this company's a piece of shit. Yeah, blah, they, blah, blah, they blah. post once and twice and they just and, leave. And yeah. yeah, and then you just seem like you're an asshole because you don't care. Yeah, you know? and that's the hard part too is the comment yeah. thing. I mean, like, we, I've, a lot of my accounts, there's been <sighs> negative comments. The number of times I've been like, just don't say anything. <laughs> not saying anything is better than... Well, people love it. Like, they have no time. So yeah. they just they scroll through Facebook and they yeah. want to comment on anything they could think of. It's bad. Yeah. That you know the photo you took, you should add your shutter of this and aperture of this. I would have added this. Like, then why don't you do my job? Right. Clearly, you can do it better and than it's, I do. It's any conversation it's, you should have should be on the phone. Yeah. D- don't text them. No. Don't do not respond Mm-mm. because that's just going to get screen captured and saved, and then you're going to delete it because you're going to regret it, and then it's going to come back and then be like, oh, they deleted this, and it's 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 never ending. It's never ending. It, it is another branch of customer service, and if you haven't worked in customer service, it, it, it's completely foreign. Because, oh yeah, because I've I've never I've never luckily maybe it's not lucky, but I've never been in the corporate world. Okay, I I, I worked as a dishwasher. I worked at restaurants. I was a roofer. Uh, I was a little league. I was a baseball umpire when I was okay. a kid. But I've never done the whole corporate kind of job dealing yeah. with customer service. So now that I have a company. I don't have a degree in business at all. You have to deal with your employees. You have to yep. deal with tax stuff. You have to deal with 
customers that are not happy with you. So it's just you get thrown into it. As long as you're able to manage people, you can do it pretty right. easily. And, and I, I feel like it's also that kind of learning. Like, okay, that's not working. Right. Let's try this. And that's part of social media, right. too. I mean, you try out things, and trends come, and they go, and... I mean, you just you use a new hashtag it. and it gets like hashtag. picked up and you're like, oh shit, okay, I should use that one more often. Right. Or, right. Um, when you bought your first drone, did you ever think that was like even in the vicinity? Like, did Well, I was lucky. So I was lucky enough, and this is going to sound super weird, but my grandfather is a tech head. Okay. He's, he's 72-ish, whatever, whatever it is. He was kind of on the trend of drones. So he okay. bought one of the first iterations of drones and... We were over, my brother and I were over the house one day, and it's like, hey, Matt, check out uh, this drone I have. Like, you actually bought a drone? I was like, yeah, I have two of them. My grandmother hates it. He still buys drones now. Yeah. Makes no money with it. He just He's buys just them. It's just fun. Yeah. And they're, they're, they're thousand, super they're fun to fly. But they're $1,000, $2,000. Oh, shit. So okay. if you have a bundle of them. So they're like serious drones. Yeah, they're, 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 like the, yeah, they're yeah. good drones. They're good drones. And they're not the Radio Shack <laughs> Christmas special. No. All right. No, God, no. All right. God, no. Um. But he, he was into it, and so I was over one day, and he was flying it, and I tried it, and I loved it. I mean, I was, how old am I? I'm 20, I was 23, so I was definitely way younger than I am now. Not that I'm way not younger. that old. Way younger. That was like a fucking, yeah. two years ago, he's way younger. I know, I just turned 27 uh, God yesterday. God Yesterday. Where's Jim? I loved our last interview. He was my age. He was your age. Yeah. I found one gray hair yesterday. So, yeah? Yeah. Fucker. I know. Son of a bitch. I know. Touch a gray pretty soon. Yeah. But... <laughs> Can we but, just delete him entirely? I liked it better yeah, when you I can, stood him you up. Yeah, you can delete this whole segment yeah. if you want. We'll yeah. skip ahead. To I liked the, it better when I stood him up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. But no, so he, he let me use the drone to kind of end the story. He used the drone, and I just loved using it. So luckily enough, I had that as my first drone. Yeah. Made money with that one. And then once drones got better and better and the quality demanded, you know, a better drone, I bought my first drone. But, it's, you know, as a company, you drop two thousand dollars on a piece of equipment it's a little scary oh and then I, god yeah and then i, I got imagine. into conventional photography and videography yeah. so you spend another thousand dollars on a camera and then you got tripods lights it, and, and I so just, this is just all stuff you kind of figure out as you go yeah i literally i have no background in photography videography business i've always loved photography yeah. and i think most people like it to yeah, a yeah. certain extent but i feel like it's a certain thing that people are way more accustomed to seeing than they realize because, right. you know, you figure what is your first experience with photography? You're probably like first grade getting your school picture taken. Yeah. Like it's something that you've always had in your life. Uh, videography, everybody's watched movies, everybody's watched TV. So it's something that I- 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 inherently you're familiar with, even though you don't realize you are. I think a lot of us have friends that have that nice camera. There's always the one friend in the group that has that nice Nikon camera. Right. So you kind of ask questions and, you know, you want to learn a little bit more about how to professionally take photos, quote unquote. And then you just keep trying it. Eventually, either you borrow a camera from somebody else or yeah. you just go all in and buy a camera and figure out how to make money from it. it, but, it and at what point were you like, this is feasible to be a, a, a business? Like, I mean, so I've, did, I've... Was there like a conversation where like you're laying in bed at night and kind of like <laughs> nudge your girl and be like... I think I can make some money at this. I had an epiphany and I woke up. Yeah. I think uh, for me, I've I've always been an entrepreneur. I thought I was going to have my own architecture firm and yeah. have a big firm and design houses. And I've always had that mindset. Yeah. So I don't mind working 80 hours a week. And, and, and I yeah. still do. I mean, yeah. I, I have guys that work for me now, but I mean, I still do most of the work. Um, yeah. But there wasn't like a epiphany moment where I woke up. Like I could make a business out of this. I think it was just, it was a gradual thing. Mm-hmm. The more I posted... The more people like my stuff, commented just as viewers on it. Yeah. And then once you kind of become the Plymouth guy who's doing drones and the Plymouth guy is taking videos and you kind of get some legs behind you when people actually call you to say, I want to hire you to do stuff. That's what I'm like. It's a weird, it's a weird it's a thing weird when feeling. people call you up out of the blue yeah. and you're like, how did you hear? But like, I remember specifically, so we run a lot of events and whatnot and uh, we run these drawing events that I was telling you about earlier. And when Which we start, amazing. yeah, they're fun. They're yeah. really fun. And the, f- in the beginning it was, you know, like, Oh, I talked to so-and-so, so-and-so like, we're going to have like eight people because I talked to eight people who said they're coming. Like I knew who's going to be here. And this really lovely blonde girl comes walking in the door and I'm like, 
shit, I double booked the model. Who is that? <laughs> and I'm like, hey, can I help you? And she's like, oh, I'm here for the drawing thing. And I'm like, oh, to draw? And she's like, yeah. And I'm like, oh, okay. I didn't d- double book the model. All right. And I'm like, how'd you hear about us? And she's like, oh, my boss told me about, about you. And I'm like, okay, who's your boss? And she told me, and I'm like, I don't know who that is. And it, at that point, I'm like, like, we're starting to filter out, like, people are starting to hear about yeah. us and it's it's a weird experience that i'm constantly like baffled when people are like oh i've heard about you guys or well, especially when when you come from something where you're not in the limelight i mean right. if you're if you're deep in corporate america you're just another you're just, like that's like if you're unfortunately if you're an architect in a big firm you're kind of the grunt the, right. the joke is if you someone do, rem- if someone knows your name it's, it's usually it's for a, a bad reason yeah exactly yeah you're like you're heading <laughs> yeah. to the principal's office yeah exactly but like the joke is you do stair details bathroom details and eventually you graduate to do more stuff so like yeah. that, that's just how the industry gets right i feel like when you have your own company and people start recognizing you it's like wow people like i don't have to call people anymore well i still call people obviously right. but if i get a phone call from someone saying yeah so-and-so recommended you you do great work that for me is it's still a little weird because yeah, yeah, i'm not yeah. used to it yet you're uh, like i'm but, sorry who are you yeah, calling who? Yeah, uh, me yeah, you're, yeah. you want to hire me yeah. but i mean yeah we also have to just realize you do great work and i'm sure you do great work for your clients too but it's whoa, just whoa whoa well i'm, I'm set assuming that bar super low I'm, I'm assuming i just say yes to a lot of things <laughs> you just say yes yeah. okay so nothing wrong with that i don't know if we do great work i'm just easy <laughs> Um, Easy is sometimes good. Yeah, sure. Yeah. yeah. But no, being, being in the limelight is interesting. I mean, like, if you see the, the Facebook vloggers like Jake Paul and Logan, like all these people who kids love, yeah, all they're doing is they're making videos, and that's interesting enough that people watch it. They're not really doing a lot. They're just filming their life, and people catch on to it. It's, it's amazing. And, and, like, I don't think people realize this in how – people will just kind of be like, I'm interested in whatever it is, whatever their hobby is, and they start making a YouTube channel. And next thing you know, they're getting 100,000 views on on a video. Yeah. I mean, good for them. Like, the, thing, the shit that I watch on YouTube is fucking ridiculous. I was watching a guy race marbles for like an hour the other night. Did you type it in yourself or did you get no, into it's just the one of those. It's just say, one of those YouTube tunnels. I would never have thought that I would, would be never, I didn't know it was a thing. And you, then well, you get stuck in the YouTube in that spiral, it, you know, the it, vortex. To the point where you're like, oh, I'm going to look up like a video by uh, fucking, I don't know, Adam Ant or something. And then like an hour later, you're like, how did I get here? And it's a guy that has these really elaborate marble Olympic competitions to the point where, like, in case you're wondering, the Marvel uh, Olympics 2019 will start at the end of February. I was going to ask you. I didn't want to rush no, you. No, but, it's, yeah. it's... it's uh, Do you have to buy tickets to it? or I don't know, because it's YouTube. It's YouTube? Yeah. So, okay. But, like, to the point where this guy, like, has made, like, I'm using air quotes, fights in the stands between, like, the Marvels and... It's very... You're shaking your head at me, but it's very, like, relaxing to watch, kind of, like, towards the end of the night, you're winding down... Open know. a bottle of wine, drink some sure, yeah. wine and some but cheese I, and, then, and watch Marvel. So I watch that. And then there's a, a guy in um, Wales who will go out to the beach and forage and just like walk into the ocean and be like, hey, I just picked up this lobster. Let's go cook it. And, you know, he'll get mussels right out of the, out, out of the ocean, like right there in basically his backyard. But the point is, no matter what you're into – Someone will fucking watch it. Like these are. I'm well, not uh, the only guy watching this. It, no, of yeah, they're not. hugely popular. But have have you found? Because I know I've found. Like when you watch YouTube videos like that, have you gotten inspiration for content you're providing oh, to yeah. your clients? Was it, well, like you're not going to do a, a marble video, of, of course. But no, we're not doing a marble video. Finish. Not yet. But Scratch that a, idea. It's a good idea. Marbles and, and it's lobsters. hacky sack races. It's totally fucking races. different. Um, yeah, like we have. A, I I'm constantly like messaging fishman like hey i have an idea for this thing and we have more content ideas than we have time that we can do and hold a a full-time job like if it gets to the point where that's our full-time job that's great because we'll we'll crank out shit but it's so weird that that is a viable business of course that you can be like i'm gonna just make 
I'm going to compete with things like Game of Thrones. I'm going to make a a channel on YouTube that people are going to go to and watch a million views. You don't have to go to school for it. You don't need a degree nope. for nope. it. No, you, you just could just yeah. do it. You get your grandfather who buys you a drone. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So, is do you have a YouTube channel that you do other things with? Uh, so honestly, my YouTube is a little lacking. I, I essentially just upload stuff and upload to Facebook. But when I, what the, my difference between Facebook, LinkedIn, and I guess Instagram are the Facebook stuff. I do a lot of, I try to do free information now. Yeah. Not that I know everything I'm still learning, but I think it's important for you as a content creator to give free info out there. Yeah. I advocate that all the time for my clients. If you know something people want to share know it too yeah. yeah and share it. i mean you're not going to lose clients over but, it i mean if and anything, this is the funny thing I, I feel like when you share the content or, or share the information people are more likely to be like wow that's more work than i thought it was going to be yeah i need someone to do that yeah yeah and also i mean yeah. like i tell real estate agents that i that i work with if if you can put a face to a name mm-hmm. you're giving free information out there if i were someone to buy a house i would trust this guy who's doing videos and free info than Joe Schmo, who's just another agent right. part of some company. Yeah. So it's the thing with me. Like if I'm a content creator, if I'm not making content for myself, then what good am I? Right. It's great to post your own work that you've done. Mm-hmm. You know, I, I post all the work that we do for clients, but I think it's important if I'm a marketing company, so you video company. So you'll just shoot videos of you know whatever. Yeah, so I, I have like I have a segment that I'm calling Hawk Talk, okay. which might be a podcast at some point. Oh, fucking so I'm going to compete off. with an Yeah, damn it. yeah, yeah. Trying to take over the Plymouth market yeah. here. Good luck. Yeah, uh, uh, you, have, Colony, you have a strong foothold. Old here. Colony Cast is the greatest Plymouth podcast as of right now. Who uh, who runs that? Uh, I don't know. Is it the same guy that always wears the Mayflower Brewing hat? He doesn't. He's got the goatee, wait. doesn't he? And the gray no, hair. Sometimes he wears a red hat. <laughs> Gray's cute. <laughs> It's a touch of gray. It's okay. Mm-hmm. Where were we? What were we talking about? Uh, so we, we were saying how Old Colony Cast is the greatest Plymouth podcast. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. The content's amazing. Yeah, I mean, and that you were... I think it's just below Joe Rogan in the ratings, isn't I, it? Well... It might be creeping Joe, up. Is Joe Rogan your favorite? I had this conversation just the other day. Yeah, Joe Rogan. Why do people love Joe Rogan? He's our savior. He's our lord and savior. That's what I heard. Really? That's what I believe. Yeah. I don't... I'm not <laughs> Joe Rogan. Like, I don't... You don't like Joe Rogan? I don't dislike Why? him. Well, first of all, his podcast... I, are I, you are you the guy that like thinks he's an idiot from doing the Fear Factor thing? No, 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 no. Oh, okay, no, 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 okay. no, 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 no. I think that's a lot of it. Um, yes, it was Jim. No, it was uh, fuck. What's his name? Not Gavin, the competitor. He is this, was. Is it this was, the marble uh, guy? Or? No, no, no. no. Oh. This is not important. So, anyways, <laughs> so I like long form part. Uh, podcast. I feel like his are way too long. Well, three hours. I know that's that's. But I like that. I, I can drive back and forth from the office three or four times and still I hear the same time. I thought you live in. I live in Abington now. Oh, okay. All right. I, I just All moved right. out about a year ago now. Uh, but I feel like for an interview that can be really long. But if I really like the person, and I think that's what it is. If I really like the person, I'm in. Oh yeah. If I listen to a guy who's monotonous or I just don't like, then yeah, yeah. I could care less if it's so five I, minutes or five hours. So when I listen to his podcast, it's more based on the guest and not him. So you have no problem with him. It's more the guests. Yeah. Like, if the guest is dull, I don't give a shit. Like, I don't really want to listen. If is I'm it the in, same thing with this podcast? I don't listen to this podcast. <laughs> you don't listen to your own podcast? No, I do. I do. Yeah. Like, boy, that, yeah, that guest was at? really dull. Huh? No. Um, yeah. But, so I had someone explain to, this, explain to me once uh, that... Someone will tune in for your podcast based on your guests. They will subscribe to your podcast based on you, which makes I perfect, believe that. Which yeah. makes perfect I sense. I believe that. Yeah. As far as Joe Rogan, I only listen based on the guest. I don't. That's fair enough. I don't dislike him, but I don't really like him. Like so, what's your? Do you listen to podcasts? Oh, I listen to a lot. What's What's your podcast? Uh, all right. Uh, well, my favorite is the Inebriate Podcast, uh, followed by uh, myself, the old, old, Colony. Uh, old Colony Podcast. A and, great uh, one. Uh, it, then is there a Bar beer Talk? one? Bar Talk. Bar Talk. Yeah, I heard that was pretty with, good with uh, Jordan and Carl. So those are my top three. <laughs> and by top three, a little I mean, biased. Yeah, yeah, a little, of course. Slightly, um, slightly. The podcast that really got me started on podcasting. It's called uh, "There's No Such Thing as a Fish," which is a spinoff from. I know, right? It's weird. you get a fish next to you. Yeah, it's, it's not real. 
Oh, okay. um, it's a spinoff from a British TV show. So there's a TV show that's kind of a, a trivia-based show, and no such thing as a fish is the researchers from that show that bring up the four uh, best facts they found out that week. And that's the premise. It's short, Every week, it's just sweet. Short. Every, yep. And but it it runs I don't know, about forty five minutes to an hour, and it's just entertaining. Like if you listen to the early ones, they're not so great, but they're just they're fun people, interesting uh, inter- interesting facts that are kind of obscure and weird. Um, I listen to that. I listen to uh, Nerdist slash ID uh, ID ten T, which okay. is a long form interview podcast. That's about an hour, not the three hours that Joe Rogan goes. Um, that's had some issues this past year or so, but I still like it. Um, then one of my other top who's on ones? the Nerdist? Who runs it? Uh, Chris Hardwick. It is Chris. Hardwick. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So okay, he's had they, some issues. They've they've had a didn't they have a, a video segment where they were bowling? Oh yeah. What, what that's was, um yeah they were. What bowling. did they call that? It wasn't called. It was some segment, wasn't it? It, I found out about yeah. Nerdist from they, whatever they, that bowling. They, were, they ran about three three seasons of that, and it was basically I can't remember what it's called. But it was, but was it was basically it celebrities or something. Yeah, it was celebrity bowling because Chris Hardwick's father was a professional bowler, so Chris Hardwick okay, was that a makes sense, really then. decent bowler. Yeah, and they would take the Nerdist team and challenge like the team from The Walking Dead or that's the team, what it was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah Super yeah. fun series. Yeah. That was a YouTube thing. Yep. Um, and then probably my next favorite 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 I can't favorite even fucking is, talk. It's a word. Um, is uh, well, actually there's probably two uh, sawbones, and their tagline is a marital uh, marital misguided tour through medical history. So it's a doctor and her husband, and they'll take a topic like herpes. <laughs> And they'll go back to the oldest... Everyone's re- favorite topic. Yes, yep. but the o- oldest reported case and talk about, like, what they did back in the day. And by back in the day, I mean, like, Egypt, where they'll be like, oh, you gotta, oh, like, way back in the day. you gotta, like, boil a dog at the light of the full moon <laughs> and then work their way up to what we do now. Really good, really funny. And then uh, there's a Dungeons and Dragons podcast that I listen to. Okay called critical role and that's like four hours a week four hours a week a week they do they just narrate what they're doing they, they just play D, and it's insanely good i can't say i've ever played it i my my roommate used to play it with go ahead tell, friends, tell me i'm nerdy again you can i'm i love nerdy there's nothing <laughs> wrong with it well so here's the thing like what podcasts like what youtube channels are you into like what was your inspiration i think a lot of it is uh there's a guy peter mckinnon do uh, you know Casey Neistat? No. He does a lot of vlog stuff. I like, I, 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 I kind of get in that vortex too. I'll watch random stuff and I yeah. end up on puppies and babies. And then the next thing is someone building a house. It's all over the place. Yeah. But oh, yeah. YouTube's it, great for it's, that. It's, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. But a lot of it now, especially in the past year, has been content creators. So yeah. Peter McKinnon's a huge one. He's got a guy, Matt, I forget his last name. They're Canadian. So take that with a grain of salt. But yeah. So he's uh, super polite. S- super, almost too polite. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a little annoying, but uh, I just, I love that's how I get inspiration now. Yeah. So because I don't, I don't have any background in in photography, or videography. I learn how to use techniques from them. Um, I'll just watch tutorials on how to use my camera or drone. So it, it's yeah. a lot of just for for now. It's just tutorials, and that's kind of my nerdy side. No, that's watching that, that kind of and, stuff. And that's yeah. the thing. It's like you, you'll. Google something small like how do I replace a battery in a 2005 Jeep Liberty? Like, that's exactly. And yeah. the next thing you know, you're like watching some guy marble race competitions, it, yeah. or like watching a guy race a Jeep Liberty across a desert for no fucking reason yeah. and something crazy. Yeah. Um, the one that's caught my attention, uh, do you know, uh, Bert Kreischer is. I love Bert Kreischer. Yeah. Have you seen uh, Something's Burning? He cooks with oh, guests, right? Fucking great. Yeah. So, so like, great. I, I only know about Burt Kreischer, Tom Segura, Ari Shafir, all yeah. those comedians from Joe Rogan. Okay. So that's, that's why I love Joe Rogan, because I've... Op- and um, who's the guy? Uh, Bill Burr? No, 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 no. Uh, He's a big guy. He's Colombian. Oh. Joey Diaz. Yeah, okay. Joey Diaz. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So now, like, I love listening to the... And I'm, I'm a big comedian fan, yeah. anyways. Um, 
but I like I, I watch those sometimes too. I which is weird. I actually watch the Joe Rogan podcast a yeah. lot, or I'll watch Joey Diaz. I think it's the Church of What's Happening Now. Okay, Burt Kreischer. No, uh, um, uh, Tom Segura has uh, your mother's your, house your, or something like that. Something like something that, about yeah. your mother or something. Yeah. 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 Doesn't does Burt Kreischer have one? Uh, it's, that's the Burt cast, I think. Is that the Burt cast? Yeah. Okay. But something's burning is fucking brilliant. I don't even know what, what is the premise. Just he cooks while he cooks he talks while to talking guests. to people, yeah. and they're constantly like, "Did you wash your hands? Can you stop <laughs> touching your face? What the fuck are you doing?" Yeah. And it's this total mess of I'm drunk and cooking, but at the end, everyone's like, "This is pretty good." Yeah, he can actually yeah. kind of cook. Yeah, and yeah. and kind of on that uh, premise, uh, like we're talking early YouTube. Uh, there's a great show called uh, My Drunk Kitchen. And I don't it's know that this one. girl. Oh, fuck. I'm going to. Hannah Hart. Hannah Hart. Thank you. Um, was Her friend was sick and made like a video to kind of like cheer her up. She got shit faced and made something and videotaped it. And it became this show called My Drunk Kitchen where she'd get drunk and cook. And it's just this girl like making puns and having fun in her own kitchen. And it's. There's a certain amount of. I don't know if underproduction is the right word. Like, you don't want to be too... You don't want to be... Too produced, you mean? Slick, and yeah. Like, you don't want to be Hollywood on YouTube. You want to be genuine. And that's the, actually... Which is a good segue, too. With the content that people create, you can tell who's reading off a script and being yeah. fake. And that's why I think those people Like, this get, is totally scripted, Matt. Yeah. You're right, Andy. This why, is thank you. Totally... Th- thank you I, for inviting I, me this today. Is it's been really thing, fun. Yeah. yeah. People, people know. People can see through that. Right. I mean, if you don't, then you're stupid. But no, no I'm just kidding. But thank you for calling our our audience stupid. It's okay. Um, well, how how big is your audience? You know, six, seven people. That's we're huge. Than my we're podcast, huge in Nigeria. You're huge in Nigeria. Yeah. We, we get downloaded twice. Are you serious? Do you have a Nigerian mm-hmm. audience? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Wow. We get downloaded in Nigeria. Where, where did we get downloaded the other day that I had to look up? Kyrgyzstan. Kyrgyzstan. Wow. Um, Tunisia, Jordan, Israel. Israel, we've been hot in recently. You've been hot in Israel. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, it, it, and that's one of those weird things is you put it up, and then you can see where it's downloaded, and you're like, are they trying to learn English? Are we on a watch list? Like, Why, they were learning English from you guys? I don't know. Like, <laughs> I mean, I like, think there's a little bit. It, it's, there's are a, you saying I don't know English? No. You, I, know, you know, I know the English. I know English good. Right, yeah. Yeah, I'm, yeah. But why would they tune into? Well, they could listen Fuck to Bar, I know. Bar Talk or Old Colony. Or old Colony or, yeah. All three or, of them, um, you get pretty good English yeah, there. Hawk, hawk vi- visuals. With the S, you got it. Yeah, see, I yeah. learned. I learned things. Yeah, today someone called me Hawk Ariel, but they spelt it like, what's the, what's the Disney movie with Ariel? Oh, uh, like Little Mermaid? The Little Mermaid, oh, I think. So like, it was like a name, a, not as yeah. in the air. Like, I didn't even, that's not even in my name. I don't know where you got that from. <laughs> to be fair, the old Technically, the name was Hawk Visuals Aerial Drone Media. So, when you go to like a family reunion, family party, how much time do you spend explaining to that older aunt what the fuck it is that you do? Not as much anymore. They, they, <laughs> believe it or not, they all kind of they know, kind of get it. I feel like I'm that's doing. like one of those hard conversations where you're like, I'm like a content creator, and like a what? Well, they. I have a super supportive family. Yeah. I mean. I'm kind of lucky enough that they, when I said I'm quitting my job with $100,000 worth of student loans, it's like, okay, have fun. Yeah. And my girlfriend's the same way. But they all they all follow my work. They know what I'm doing. Yeah. And, uh, I mean, they're you all... Didn't, you didn't have anyone be like, you're out of your mind. You got to... Not really, honestly. Ha- not really. It, no one used the word fallback? I'm sure it was tossed around at yeah. some point. Uh, and even if it fails now, I mean, I, I, could, I could wash dishes at Friendly's. I mean, why not? I know some restaurant people. I can hook you up. You can hook me up? Yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah. Cool. So you'd be like, <laughs> Fridays, not Friendly's. Fridays. Yeah. That's true. That's, that's the new Friendly's. You make an extra Friday. dollar an hour. But no, I mean... I, this, I, this interview <laughs> went in a totally different direction than I was expecting. What do you think? I don't know. Is it, it because I'm wearing an Occupy Mars shirt? No, it's, be, we're it's talk when about we bring in Elon people Musk. we don't know at all. It's like you never know how they're going to be. So some people we're connecting. Yeah. So I some, feel like do so, we just become best friends? Uh, uh, we might be. There's step, a lot of room, there's a lot of room in here for activities. <laughs> so <you got it. laughs> um, but and that, that bathroom is amazing. We were so, talking earlier. Uh, yes, the Mayflower Brewery. Tell um, them, if ahead, you tell come them. into the Mayflower Brewery upstairs, ask them to use the upstairs bathroom. Yes, the marble upstairs, bathroom. The marble bathroom upstairs is dope. 
there is a wiffle ball in it for some reason. I didn't oh, even so notice didn't it. Notice wiffle I didn't even notice it. All right. So come to me if our brewery, brewery, brewery. That's the offshoot in the brewery. Yeah, the brewery. Yeah, all blue walls, yep. everything. Uh, ask to use the upstairs bathroom because I would love to see Jimmy Stick's reaction when people ask that. I feel like there's enough room up here to have a small wiffle ball game. Possibly. I feel like that's probably what happened as they're probably screwing around up be. here and someone like hit it into the bathroom and they forgot about it. Yeah. And they but. just said, let's just leave it in here. Yeah. 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 Interesting. Because they're lazy or drunk. One of those two or things. Both. Or both. Yeah. It is Plymouth. So. Yeah. I love Plymouth, but. Uh, I do too. And it is the most drinkingest town in Massachusetts, according to like a survey from like three years ago. I'm not surprised by that. Not at all. Not surprised. No. I mean, if you look every... Drive down Main Street. I was going to say, Friday drive down night, Main Street. Yeah. Every single... Yeah, there's new are bars you, that pop up. Are you a Plymouth native? Yes. Okay. I grew up in Manomet, which is apparently for people downtown, that's like going to Florida. Pretty they don't, much, they don't yeah. want to drive 15 minutes down the road. No. And now you live in Abington. Abington. Okay. So my girlfriend works in Boston. So for us, oh, that's, so that's kind, kind of... of a, yeah, yeah, she yeah, takes yeah. a commuter rail, so it's 40 minutes for her and... Yeah. 25 route three is super easy to get to and so you quit your 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 architect job yep you do this now like yep. you have offices like it like i have an office right downtown on main street uh, um in the post office building oh shit that's yeah. why you know brian yes yeah well so to be fair i was there first and then they moved and, in so he knows you yes all right fair <laughs> enough no, calling I, you out, Brian Logan. Yeah, yeah, we're, we're calling you out if you hear this. Yeah. Uh, no, I, I met him. I, I I want to get involved with 400 I, yeah. just just because of I love the town and good networking opportunity. But we I met him when they were in the chamber building. Okay, and then they end up moving down here, whatever that was last year at some I point. Think it was last year. Yeah. So now it's extremely convenient because we work well together. So yeah. we just he walks well, he's downstairs. A super easy. Yeah, he's in a rock band. Of, I mean, yeah. I, who and I'm actually uh, they have a show on. Um, this Saturday. Where? Uh, I should look it up, shouldn't I? And probably. It's somewhere. I think it's, I can't go. If it's you don't in come. Quincy. Oh, that's Sorry, Brian. That's I sh- like, was going to give you a shout out, but right. we're going to be there filming. This is not going to be up there by then. Okay. So, so then don't worry about it. So go if to, you happen when to you, go. When you hear this, go to Hawk Visuals on Facebook and you can check out the video. There you go. How about that? There you go. Um, so when you're in Plymouth, you enjoy Plymouth, do you look for the many events in Plymouth to kind of be like, oh, maybe we should just go down and record that. Yeah. Like, did you do anything with the, the Viking boat? Yes, definitely did. So I'm, I'm huge into whether you call it guerrilla marketing or whatever you call it. Like, mm-hmm. I'll just show up and say, can I film this? I'll do it for free. Yep. Post it because I need content. Yeah. And, you know, sometimes I get money out of it or someone's like, yeah, hey, I saw your video. I want to hire you for this. So, yeah. like, I'm 100% on board for doing that. So the... The Draken, Draken, Dra- so sure. say, Draken, Draken, whatever, whatever I'm it's I'm called. A, I, yeah, I live in Massachusetts. Yeah, I know English, yeah. sorta. That's not English though. Was that Swedish? That's Swedish. Finnish. Swedish. Finnish. Research. Research. Come on, fish. Jesus you should know. Christ, do something. Sorry, yeah, what are you here for? Norwegian? You don't know that. You're just guessing. Is not a car. Is not a cruise ship. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, <laughs> we're getting way off topic here. Uh, yeah. So I, I, I don't in know. Other if we words, got I, I it. We never have got. No. It's, it's okay. It's okay. Um, but yes, I do. I love just. Showing yeah. up. We did we did Winterfest. So luckily enough the four hundred's been Are you were at amazing. Winterfest? We filmed it. So um Did you film the art show? Uh we filmed oh. it a little bit. We filmed there was oh. a guy painting I was in the building. Oh, Chris Mindle. He was like right near the entrance. Yeah, yeah, it was Chris Mindle, yeah. yeah. Okay, yeah. yeah, he's, yeah. He's on, did you check out the video? I didn't know there was a video. Well, no one told follow me. Follow Hawk Visuals with an S. Well I do now. Well, you I, did, I didn't know. know. I didn't know okay. you were at our event. We did Winterfest. I don't we believe did. you asked our permission. I don't. I, I, I don't need your permission. I love that. <laughs> How about that? Fair enough. Fair enough. All right, I'll, I'll buy that. Yeah, we did Winterfest. We did the tree lighting. We did mm-hmm. um, illuminate. You ever yep. you ever illuminate? Yeah, yeah. So kind of in conjunction with the parade. Oh well, shit! I think I saw that video. I mean, it was pretty popular. Yeah, so yeah. yeah. I remember not to that. toot my own horn, but but no. So we'll we'll one hundred percent. We we love to just. And because we're on Main Street, there's so much happening on Main Street. Yeah. So if you hear something, you just walk outside and film There it. you are. Yeah, there you are. Yeah. Creeping. So, yeah, so creeping. are you somewhere between like a business and a stalker? A stalker? Yeah. Uh, between yeah. like, I'm going to pay you for this or just I'm going to video I get permission. You you... I mean, I get permission. All right. And if I'm filming people, I have... I have <laughs> <laughs> you're trying to report me here. I have, uh, I have, I have media release forms too. Nice. So we're legit. All right. It's LLC. I have insurance. We're legit. Yeah, 
not just some <laughs> just some sue the company. Yeah. yeah, it's a company. All right, nice. Yeah. Um, yeah. Well, I'm going to go out on a limb and invite you anytime any of you are doing anything. You're welcome to videotape there. Okay. Uh, how much make, do you guys pay? What? 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 I'm sorry. What? I said, how much do you guys pay? Yeah, fish. How much do I pay you? <laughs> All right. That's okay. About, that's, that's what I thought. Yeah, that's accurate. No, I, I would definitely do yeah. anything. Um, well, how, like, how many do you guys have events every month, or is it quarterly, oh, or randomly, or weekly? Weekly now? events. Yeah. Um, What's your? What do you have coming up? Uh, let's see. Next week we I just are. Up for a good plug. So yeah. yeah so take advantage next of it. week, which. This is not going to be up in time. We're going to be at Knockabout Brewery down in Mashpee. I just uh, filmed the video down there. Nice. with Not for them, but with them. So we're going to be doing a beer mug painting down there. Uh, Monday, we are doing our figure drawing, which we do twice a month at the New World Tavern. Check that out. $8 cover charge. Bring whatever you want to draw in. It's the first Monday, third Wednesday every every month, except for February. Um, Hey, hey. What? Come on. February's special event. You should probably mention that. No. It'll be up by then. I don't know what you're talking about. Um, Uh, I want to know what it is. The Fish, reason Fish our February, our second February live drawing is a month behind is because our uh-uh. model is. I'm sorry, a it's week a week behind. behind. Sorry, I've been drinking. Uh, <laughs> it's okay. It's like because you. our model will be in Vegas that week. It is a admittedly kind of a budget model, but for some reason people were very interested the last time we had Andy behind, up on stage. So we're doing it again. I'm flexing right now. You can't tell. You look good. Yeah. You've been working out lately. Yeah. I, I can no, see it. I, I have no. The opposite. <laughs> yeah. Um, so we've been doing that almost six years. We have art shows. We hang out for local businesses. We are doing a thing at Buttonwood Park Zoo. Uh, a actual life drawing. Where we're going to draw other life. Uh, I think we're going to have a sloth and a owl and a fennec fox and and maybe a vulture. Maybe a vulture. It is Vulture Appreciation Day. And uh, we do uh, beer mug <laughs> painting. It's a thing. Yeah. Vulture Appreciation Day. Yeah. Who set yeah. that up? Not us. What? You didn't make that a holiday? No. We, we don't quite. We're have just a capitalizing yet. on it. Yeah. Hashtag, okay. hashtag Vulture. Hashtag appreciation capitalizing day, yeah. on Vulture Day. Yeah. 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 Um, uh, we do beer mug paintings at a ton of different breweries. So any, anything we think is fun, we try to do. So, wow. so uh, follow us anywhere on Facebook. <laughs> I thought. I'm plugging stuff. You're oh, plugging oh, sorry. Thing. I thought I thought yeah. you were, this is this is your this show. Is, isn't this? I'm your guest. I right? thought this was your show. Is it? You said you're starting a podcast. I am. It's going to be called. I thought, uh, like right now. I thought you were calling it the Joe Rogan Show. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to call it Anibri Non Art, and we're going to compete directly. He's, he's going to call it Joe Anibri Art. Yes, Joe Rogan. Visuals Hawk with an S at the end. Perfect. Podcast dot com. Uh, so Matt Melgan, I feel like. Uh, I hate to give Brian like credit, but you can give him credit. Yeah, I don't like to give people credit. He's a great guy. He's a great guy. I love, I love. But Brian. I like when I like people, I like to bust their balls. So I'm the same way. I think it's yeah. the Irish in me. Yeah, see, that's what it is. I, it, yeah. It's it's if you get that from me, then it means it's, it's yeah. a good thing. It's yeah. endearing. Yeah. I think so. Some uh, people don't like it, but they'll live. They'll live. Yeah. yeah. So I I feel like we are uh, kind of the uh, cut from the same stone cloth cloth. Yeah, that's the saying. That's the saying. I'm yeah. like, that's not right. Yeah, but uh, we expect to see more from you guys, and uh, we plan on seeing you guys around. So, We're and not just around. at the who's that guy in the way at the arm wrestling thing. <laughs> um, yeah, no. So check it out. Uh, tell everybody where they can find you online beyond Facebook. So um, yeah, so Facebook, Instagram, <laughs> LinkedIn. If you just search for Hawk Visuals, you can find us. Uh, website is hawkvisualsmedia.com. We're on YouTube. We're right downtown. I'm always open for people to just come by and pop say in and hi. Check just, it out. Yeah, if you want to pop and in, it's and not say just hi. real estate. If they have, you know, commercial. Yeah, we shit do, we do or, events. We do commercial uh, bar mitzvahs, bar versus, mitzvahs. Yeah, funerals. Whatever you want us to do, we'll we'll film oh it. Not funerals. God, I want. Oh, that's. But wouldn't that be awesome? Like an epic a epic funeral, slow motion funeral, like a, a, a drone coming in across the. Uh, yeah, the barren wasteland. Well, into, across the, I'm, like the graveyard, and then like uh, the coming into crying, yeah, and, like coming. You'll get in some close ups yeah, of yeah. them crying over your grave. Yeah, yeah. this just got really morbid, I'm gonna, I'm really have quick. The greatest uh, funeral ever. Well, when you're dead, call me. But the funny thing is, we, we had a, uh, a stand up comedian on recently. Is it Joe Rogan? Uh, no, it was AJ uh, Haypenny, and okay. he said one of the most fucked up gigs he ever had was someone booked him at a, at a funeral. That's a real thing. Yeah. 
what do you talk about at a funeral? Well, he, they're like, what should we talk about? And they wouldn't really tell him. And someone made a joke about um, hanging themselves. Oh, my God. And apparently God. the guy had, like, died from uh, auto errata. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. And so, Ooh, like, the, the, the mother started, like, bawling and, like, ran out of the room. And the guy's like, oh, fuck. So AJ Haypenny is going to do the comedy at my funeral. And Hawk Visuals is going to film it. <laughs> Done deal. In like a like really dramatic, sweeping, panoramic. Oh, it'll be the most epic yeah. funeral ever. Yeah. Yeah. 100%. Kind of a... Uh, fuck. Who's the guy that did Transformers? Michael Bay. Michael Bay. In a Michael Bay. Michael, like, yeah. Oh, explosions. explosions. Yeah, right. yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Like, jiggly camera. Jiggly camera, yeah. But funny. We'll put a GoPro in, like, the, but in the casket. Funny. Yeah. It's like, yeah. okay, Liam, Liam, you're getting this, right? <laughs> <laughs> Liam, this, this is legally binding... Go with yeah. it. <laughs> <laughs> He's in charge. So, all right, man. It was an absolute pleasure. Yes, uh, I think we're as well. running out of time because I think they closed downstairs. Okay, and uh, yeah, man, I appreciate it. Anytime you want to come to a New Beer event, just say so. So, let's do it. Sweet, awesome. Love uh, it. Matt Mulligan from Go Hawk, Hawk Visuals. You you went it to the took, very end and it, you messed it, it up. Took, it just took me a second. I got it. Hawk Visuals. You got it. On Facebook. You got it. Awesome. Thanks, guys. All right. Thanks for listening to our podcast. Uh, Don't forget to check out our other podcast. Uh, There's the Bar Talk podcast. There's Old Colony cast. And, of course, the Inebriar podcast along with Jam Packed. Um, You can find all those on Stitcher, iTunes, SoundCloud, YouTube, pretty much anywhere podcasts are found. Um, if you're on some sort of service and you can't find it, let us know and we'll help you out and or add our podcast to that too. Um, you can contact us at inebriart at yahoo.com and follow us on Facebook as well as Twitter at inebriart and feel free to send us some um, tips, ideas, advice, hate mail, whatever it is, you can get us there. And again, thanks for listening.